Nerd morning, everyone. My name is Jeremy, and this is the Nerd Morning Show, a show where we celebrate nerd culture by talking about comics, books, video games, and much more. Today is our weekly report where we cover the big things that have been going on over the past week. And we've got some exciting things that we're going to be talking about, some first issues for a bunch of new comics. We've got some news like the new Blue Beetle movie that HBO Max will be producing. And we also have things like free video games and more. So give this video a thumbs up and let's get going. For comics this week, we've got a couple of really big titles. The Me You Love in the Dark is by Scotty Young, and this is going to be a chilling story about an artist in an old house that's got some mysterious elements to it, and I think that it is one that's definitely noteworthy. It's been shooting up in popularity, and people have been having a hard time getting their hands on this title. Suicide Squad Get Joker number one is a limited black label series for DC Comics. There's going to be three issues and that was the first one this week that came out. The Joker presents a puzzle box number one. This is a story that is going to be told through Joker. He's going to be like hosting this and it's going to have some anthology like tales. And this is going to be something that uh, calls back to some of the other Joker titles that they've had years ago. Deadpool Black, White, and Blood came out. It is an anthology of a couple of different stories and is only going to be told in the three colors of red, white, and black. Extreme Carnage Lasher number one came out with the first appearance of Silence, a new symbiote. So for people who are uh, collectors of first appearances in comics, this is definitely one not to miss out on. Guardians of the Galaxy Annual also came out. This is a story that's going to feature Hercules versus the Prince of Power. So that could be a lot of fun. Free Comic Book Day also comes out next Saturday. So this is August 14th. Check your local shops to see what they're going to be doing and what their restrictions are going to be because of the pandemic and issues like that. Some of the stores are choosing to participate. Some of them are choosing not to participate or they're doing things in a little bit different way than they normally would most years. So I would check in and find out what your local shop is going to be doing and not doing so you can be prepared. For movies and TV this week, we've got... Um, news that they're going to be doing a Blue Beetle movie. This is a DC Comics hero, and it's going to be a movie that's going to be released on HBO Max. It's going to be starring the Cobra Kai actor, sorry if I say this name incorrectly, um, Zolo Marudina. He said that he's really excited about the project because of the representation of the Hispanic community. Apple TV has been working on the Foundation Project for a while, which is going to be an adaptation of the Isaac Asimov's book trilogy, Foundations, which is one that's a big series in the sci-fi community. This is a, a classic. And they're producing that through Apple TV on their streaming platform, and that's going to be available on September 24th. 2021. Batman The Long Halloween Part 2 is out on digital and will be released on Blu-ray on August 10th. And I'm really excited for this. The first half was incredible. This is based off of Batman The Long Halloween, the comic series, which is absolutely incredible. One of the best stories that you can have out of the Batman series. I absolutely love it. And this is so fun and so exciting. So August 10th, we're going to be able to have our Blu-ray copies of that. For games this week, we've got Epic Games giving us two new titles again this week. A Plague Tell Innocence. This is a title that has been listed as an 18 plus story. Um, it's going to be a little bit scary. It also is a single player action story that has some adventure elements to it. I'm thinking this is going to be pretty cool. Um, it'll be available until August 12th at 9 a.m. Mini It is a black and white indie game that has a lot of puzzle adventure elements to it. And this is going to be available as well 
until August 12th at 9 a.m. Nerd Morning Gaming is a channel here on YouTube where we make video game content and I do live streams. It's a really fun place to hang out and interact with me and to explore some really fun stories with some of these games. We're gonna be doing Uncharted The Lost Legacy on Tuesday at 7 to 9 p.m. Mountain Time this week, as well as Horizon Zero Dawn at 7 to 9 p.m. Mountain Time on Thursday. So those two streams are ones that I'm gonna be for sure doing, but I often do many other streams throughout the week when I have opportunities. So be sure to turn on notifications on that channel to find out and get notified when I go live, or you can also go to Twitter at Nerd Morning where I give notifications about when I go live. You can also check out nerdmorning.com slash merch to find new products in my store. I've got new face masks that are available and that was a new addition that we did this week. A big thank you to all of my supporters on Patreon. You help make these videos possible. You can also be a supporter on my Patreon by going to patreon.com slash nerdmorning. You can find more Nerd Morning content on places like Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, and more at Nerd Morning. Thank you so much for watching and we'll catch you guys next time.